Hey friends, you're watching Brainstorm Acres. I'm Henry. Today I'm going to be planting the last three tomatoes that go into these Dutch buckets. Then we'll only have nine left to go out in the garden. It's getting pretty sparse in here. My next step is to wash the soil off these three tomatoes, put them in the buckets, get the perlite all up around them, and run the pump for a little while. These are three Pisano tomatoes that, that we're going to put into the Dutch bucket. Get the first one starting to get the soil loosened up. And the second one. You've seen the two of us doing this a couple times before. All I'm trying to do is get the dirt off the root ball so we don't have a lot of dirt in the hydroponic system. It's not a big problem, but I'd rather not have those fines from the soil circulating around in the system. A little bit of jiggling, a little bit of tapping, and the soil just starts falling away. It's one of the reasons we use this potting soil. The potting soil is pretty loose to start with, and it really comes apart pretty well in water. A little jiggle. And you can see the dirt comes right off. I don't have a lot of perlite in this bucket. But I want to move the perlite away so I can get the plant down reasonably far into the bucket. Now I'll come back and add some more perlite to this bucket so the plant is held up by the perlite. And I'll break off these two bottom branches. They're just going to be in the way. In fact, I might break off more, but I think I'll leave that for later. That's enough perlite in this bucket. Now there's just two more left to do. And just tease that potting soil off the root ball. Just sort of tap my fingers along it. And the soil just starts really falling away. When I'm all done with this, I'll go use this bucket on the tomatoes out that are out in the straw bale. They can use the water and the soil won't bother them a bit. I'll finish filling that bucket up with some perlite and then we're all set. Now a friend of ours that we watch on YouTube Terry King at Terry King's allotment folds tomato stems when they're too leggy. We're not doing that, we're just planting them down. Well, Irene's here just in time. She's tall enough to reach those reels. She's going to help get these things strung up so that we're all done. We have the first two done. Okay. 
I envy her height. Well, her greater reach. <laughs> She's only about an inch, inch and a half taller than me, but she has about a six inch advantage in the reach. The bucket broke when I went to move it. Which one? The one that had the water in it broke. <laughs> no, it did not trip over. I, it just, I went to pick it up, had one hand on the edge and the other hand on the handle and it cracked. Well, the other tomatoes in here are really going gangbusters. Okay, you want to make the hole in the last bucket for the roots? I haven't washed this, it's going to dust up a little bit. Kind of sweaty in here, isn't it? The tomatoes that we're going to put in the Dutch buckets are all in, which is really awesome. Irene came in just in time to string up those reels. Yeah, I came in for some supplies. I'm working on the irrigation in the garden. <laughs> well, I'll put a little bit of uh, video of her working in the garden doing the irrigation. At least she was on the cooler side of the house. Now right. we're on the warm side of the house and inside the greenhouse. With the fan turned off so you can hear us. <laughs> and not just the fan. Well, thanks very much for watching. We hope this provided a little bit of inspiration, if not a few giggles. Please like and subscribe if you like what we're doing. Don't forget the don't forget to hit the bell for notifications because she's always doing something crazy on the homestead. Mm -hmm, yeah, like he's normal. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.